Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydra Near. And I'd first like to start by uh, giving David Cox a big thanks for uh, letting me know about how to get uh, about the game mechanics. Uh, me standing up here digging dirt down there isn't going to get me the dirt down there. My character actually has to be down there to get that dirt. Now, uh, supposedly if I'm down there and I dig up, that I'll get the same dirt down there. I did test that with one bucket. Sadly, that bucket yielded nothing. Uh, also. I happen to find this. Find this. I don't know if this is one of the relics or not. I have seen this before, but I don't remember what it was. I haven't touched it until I started recording, so let's find out. Oh, it's the seeds. Okay, I have no idea what the seeds are about. I've never seen it actually growed, grown. Uh, Alright, well, let's plant it and see what happens. We'll just leave it right here. Oh, is that not what we do? Uh, hang on. Okay, how do I plant it? Do I plant it over here? Am I plant? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I see you. Where were you? There you are. Okay. I'll let that grow. I have no idea what it does. I'm sure I'll find out. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I have been busy down the hole. I've been trying to find some big gems. Uh, I do want to sort of expand production today. Uh, I'm thinking about setting up down there. Uh, we are going to move to another claim eventually, but I have been doing. Still haven't got one. Well, I do have a nice big emerald over there, but I want to see if I can find another one. Uh, but yeah, I have been running this thing for a couple hours off camera. I don't know how many wrenches I went through. I think I went through four full kits or something. Oop. And still no more gems. That's fine. But needless to say, I do have a, a lot of gold. Uh, I don't know how much, but it has been piling up. The system has been running pretty good. Uh, I got all this gold too, but I have the emerald. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to smelt all this up and see how much I actually have. So, oh god, yes. Judging by that leg, there is a lot here. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay. It has been requested I make a large ring. Well, that is going to be the first large ring. I do plan on making many, 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 many large things. Uh... I want to see how much gold I can actually get. If I can get stuff like this out of here, oh, we could be looking at millions. And that plant is growing. So this is melting. Uh, let's go see how bad the iron legs. I did pick up some more boxes too. Uh, not too much iron in here. A lot of gold though. Uh, I don't want to know how many gems are in here. Like honestly. The amount of time it's going to take me to go through all these and cut them, it's not even worth it. Like, uh, I filled up the bucket here with the gems that I have. About 500 bucks. Or hydro coins, I should say. So, needless to say, it's not much. Alright, this is ready. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Now, it would be nice if these ingots got, like, gigantic in size. Oh, i got to heat that up. Heat that up. Uh, take a quick nap. Oops. Take a quick nap, not uh, take the bed. You're supposed to sleep in the bed, not put the bed in your pocket. Okay, uh, that is heated up. Alright, let's uh, drop that down for now. Change that to ring. We pick that up. We put that there. Grab a nice big old emerald. And there we go. Oh, <sighs> didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to get the iron ready. Hopefully it'll be a little bit brighter. And then we'll go see what kind of money we get out of this. Okay, iron ready. So let's go check with this dagger first. See how much it is. I don't think it's going to be much. Uh, has it been a few little bugs too? I found, I noticed. Uh, you remember the gold explosion? There was a nugget sitting right here. It was just floating in midair. It's like picking gold out of thin air. If only it was that easy. And I'm going to the wrong spot. We're going to go up here. Uh, I don't think there's really any point going too far. Uh, we're going to be making money pretty soon. You know, judging by the leg of that one pot of gold, ooh, this is going to be something. So, let's see what you're going to offer me. 27. It's actually pretty good for a dagger. Uh, that's what we have over here. Ooh, daggers are up. Give me my three grand. 27.77. On the floor. Stay. Okay. I'll take you. We'll run back. Uh, I did buy a few things. I think I mentioned already. Uh, I spent some money. I still got just shy of 7,000. It's in the store here. But let's take that 
that ring and see what we can get out of that. I'm just going to leave that right there. I trust the neighborhood. We have a good neighborhood watch program. I'm the only one here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Would have been nice if I could have fit that dagger in there, but it wasn't even a dagger. It was a sword. <gasps> I'm wondering how big the models actually get in this game. We shall find out. Let's go see what we can get for this ring. And I have been uh, thinking of an idea that I want to do. Like, I have... Oh my god. Wow. That's a lot of money. Give me my ring back. It's actually more than I thought. I was expecting five or six thousand, but... Ooh, they're down. Oh. Rings are up. Ooh. Thirteen thousand seven. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of cash. So this plus the dagger plus what I have twenty two thousand, twenty three thousand. Nice. Now I do know there are relics. I do wanna take advantage of every site if I can. And uh, I do know we have to excavate to actually get the thing, so it might be worthwhile to get something set up and go from there. But for the time being, I actually want to see what we can get. If that's what I got out of... I got about 15,000, 16,000 out of... Probably three hours of this tiny little setup up top at surface soil here. Get in there. Then I have an idea that might make this substantially more profitable. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take setups like this. Like the, the, the ram drill. I'm not going to use the Goliath. I know... The Goliath is there, but it doesn't mean you have to use the Goliath. This will still get us the, the big rocks and stuff like that, as far as I know. I'm going to have the same setup going into a... Uh, what is this thing called? Harvester Extractor? I think it's called the Harvester. But either way, I'm going to have it set up like this, but I'm going to have it turned facing this way. And I'm going to have the conveyor coming out this way. And then I'm going to have uh, the harvesters all output into a main line that goes into the sorters. So in that way, I'm not having all the dirt going into one harvester, all the all the dirt's going into its own independent harvester. And then the output is going onto a main conveyor that goes through the sorting system. Now hopefully with these big rocks I don't get a pile up. I've been I've been watching Blitz play and uh he's been getting some <laughs> blockage in his system so this could be interesting. But anyways I'm gonna do a little bit of excavation here and I will be right back. Oh well what do you know while excavating I actually found the relic. Spyglass relic. All right, there's the first one. I was actually planning on excavating all the sites eventually, anyways, uh, just because we don't actually if we don't actually need to use up the dirt to get gold as long as we have some of it. It's there now. The cave was I'm trying to think here. Uh, I have a map. Let's go find out. Actually, I know where it is. It's right over there. Yeah, sure, it would be nice if we could run. I don't think anything special happens when we place them on. Or, when you place the first ones on. Okay. I have a feeling something's going to open up there. Alright, let's, uh, do we have to... Okay, we'll just do that. That's the first one. Anyway, I'm back to digging. Okay, well, I have done what I can. I seem to be hitting, like, the, the hard stuff in a lot of areas, so I don't know how many I'm going to be able to get in, but more or less what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a conveyor belt coming up. Uh, the conveyor at the bottom is going to be flat. I'm going to have the harvesters and ram drills going on. I'll put it onto that conveyor, which goes up in here into the storage system. Sorting system. Just like that. And, uh, yeah, I might as well actually figure out how we're going to get this in. Uh, I don't want to have to move any of that over there, so I want to basically put everything in here. Uh, I think the best thing to do is for me to go for a drive, pick up a whole bunch of materials and parts and stuff, and bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I can't tell you exactly how many objects are sharing the same space in the same point in time and space. Uh, what I can tell you is the lag is real. Uh, I have... About eight and a half grand left. I do know I got about 20 vertical conveyors, 20 small conveyors, pipes, harvesters, extractors, toolkits, everything. Yeah, so 
uh, things are a little laggy. I, I am aware it's because things aren't actually nailed down, that they're technically still floating objects, even though they are in the track. They're just like when I pick up the the coffer full of, uh, whatchamacallit, their nuggets. And this is something else. <laughs> Needless to say, it's going to take me some time to get back, so uh, I'll save the leg and I'll meet you at home. Or at uh, the dig site. Okay, I'm still going. I've tried lowering my graphics settings a little bit. Uh, needless to say, I'm still lagging. And it got even worse since I got to the waterfall. Uh, I think I know what it is. When I was loading up, I noticed a couple of those conveyors had, weren't sitting properly. And they were sort of vibrating. I think that vibration is what's causing this lag. Uh, but then, who would have thought I'd be lagging on the third episode in this bad, too? Well, we know that's no secret. Uh, needless to say, it's impossible to drive this thing. Mm. It, like, I'm trying to go fast and it goes slow, and I try to go slow and it goes faster than I want and lags, but uh, we are here. Laggy, but we are here. So, what I'm going to do is find a nice safe place to park. Okay, <laughs> that's better. Uh, this thing is still growing. I have no idea what it is. I almost took it out, but, and, uh, digging out the cavern down there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking things apart. Basically, like I said, i got to find that other hammer. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this ramp going all the way down as far as I need to. And then I'm going to have, or, yeah, this ramp, and then I'm going to set up, uh, since I get in here, uh, this ram drill. And this harvester in this setup, I'm gonna have the ram drill. Uh, even though I do know that it will put the dirt onto the slope, I'm gonna put it onto the straight conveyor anyway. So I'll have a ram drill, straight conveyor, uh, three verticals. Do I need three verticals? Uh, yeah, I do. Three verticals going into a funnel. That's what I forgot to buy. Funnel. No, oh, well. Uh, I got enough flat guys. Uh, funnel into the harvester, and then the harvester is going to be spitting out into a main line conveyor, which is going to be connected up to this one. So I'm going to take this, copy it four times, and go from there. I'm also going to try to have uh, the ram drill on its own water system or its own valve, uh, so that way I can shut the dirt production off, let it go through the system, and then once it's all been sorted, then I can shut the conveyors and the harvesters off. Uh, but anyways, I'm sure this lag is difficult for you, it's difficult for me, so uh, let me get built in and I'll start, I'll bring you back when I got something. Okay, <coughs> sorry, I think I am done. I have got everything hooked up, sadly because of the, the space and the, the undiggable dirt, I have not been able to get as many as in, in there as I wanted. Uh, I'm going to smelt that up for now, get another bar going, because uh, I do have another pressure chamber down there. So what I've done is, uh, like I said, I've got my main line coming up here. I had to uh, try to work out how this was actually going to fit in. I had to leave a, a two block space instead of a one space because of the, where the harvester goes and or the, the ram drill where it goes and where it outputs to and where the conveyor connectors are and all that stuff. But I do have everything plugged off. I got the hoppers in place or the, the funnels. Uh, everything is ready to go. I do have to stop doing that. I am making a bar for that, so that is good. Everything is connected, and we should be ready to roll. Uh, so all I got left to do, all I got to do, is melt that down, and we'll put all the pots back in place, and then we'll fire it up and see where she goes. Okay, that one's already in place. Oops. So yeah, we are almost done. Needless to say, once I start unloading the truck, the lag is gone. I do have a lot of spare parts, but. Doesn't mean I gotta scrap them just yet. I'm gonna always ramp it up on the on the next claim when we get there. So uh, this should be ready. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah. And I bought the scale too, uh, just for the sake of it. Let's see what, see what the scale says on that. Nothing. Wow, they're worthless. Then why are we keeping them? That's what I want to know. All right. Let's get that in there. Close that off. All right. Uh, yeah, we should be good to go. I just gotta switch that on. Uh, where was the lever on this one? 
Uh, hang on a sec. Huh, I thought they did have one. I guess I was wrong. Anyway, let's, uh, let's actually hammer all this stuff down before I begin. Okay, I think we're ready. I gotta have the nail down. Uh, one thing I do want to do. Uh, don't have any here, but I do have one here on this steel. Uh, I want to put uh, something on the back side of these harvesters, just for these ram drills, because I don't know. I honestly can't remember how aggressive it, it is going to spit the, the wood out. Uh, same with those, I did that. I might have to get another row underneath the, uh, underneath these. Just because I don't think I need that one. No, I don't. Actually, I might. Maybe I'll do. I'll leave it that one. I don't think that one. Because I really don't want to have to buy any more of these things. Not that I can't afford it, but it's just getting too many, getting too many of them around here. And uh, is there any others I can steal here? Uh, hmm. I can steal that one. And that one we can stick right. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Get in there. There we go. Alright, so everything is turned on. Uh, pressure is pressurized. And we got crystals. I have my wrenches on hand. Everything's turned on. Okay. Let's see what happens. And I crashed. Okay, let's try this again. It actually rolled me back before I hammered everything down, so let's hope that we don't have a problem this time. Okay, let's see what happens here. Now, what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to leave all the, the ram drills turned off for now. And hope I don't crash. Now, I thought about putting a valve on this side, too. Oh, let's find out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save and then I'll reload and then we'll try it. Okay, here we go. And it crashed. Okay, I'm back. I got the valve open and I haven't crashed. I put uh, valves over on both sides here, so hopefully, hopefully... We're good there. Oh. Of course. Alright, well, let's try something here. The only thing I can think of is maybe too much pressure in the system. It's only I can think of. Try to take that out and see what happens. Okay. Oh, yeah. Should probably close that. If I can reach it. Yes, I can. I'm going to go up here and uh, open that. Let's open this side first and crash. I kind of saw it coming. Just checking the bug report here, and I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, I think I figured out what the problem was. Uh, I think it was actually a known bug, and I just was clueless about it. Uh, apparently, I had a, a closed loop going. Uh, water was going in this way, going around, connecting to the conveyors and the, all the machines, but it was also coming through this way. And I think if you create a closed loop like that, you can bug out the game and I think that's what's causing me to crash. So we're gonna find out. I just have to go get this to the elbow and hopefully we'll get this thing up and running. It really would be nice if we could just character could at least walk a little faster. Come on. Especially if you can only carry one thing at a time. Oh my god. Well this should be it. It's only thing I could think of because I uh, was basically doing uh, uh, process of elimination. I had put a valve here, and so I was able to get this conveyor going, able to get that conveyor going. As soon as I opened up this valve, I crashed, and that's just for everything here. So I'm hoping that's going to be it. So I'm going to do a save to avoid me having to do this work all over again, and let's see if this is it. I have a feeling that might have been it. You know, early access. That's how it is. So okay. Uh, nothing yet. There's a conveyor. Now, if if I'm right, I won't crash. Aha! And it's noisy. I apologize for the sound. Alright, so that was it. So all I have to do is switch the harvesters on if I can. And let's see what happens. If I 
can reach it. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, 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 not yet. Yeah, and then up here, because I gotta turn the other conveyor on. And there we go. Alright. See how she's doing. Are they all getting dirt? That first one isn't. They're not getting the big nuggets like I was hoping. Maybe I have to be down here. And why are you not running? Because you don't have any dirt, that's why. Oh! Conveyors work. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me uh, do a little bit of AFK, get that other harvester running, and then I'll bring you back and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm back, and uh, needless to say, I got, I got the bug a few times. Uh, I was having issues where uh, the dirt was coming up the side of the, of the hoppers, or the, the funnels, and it was getting stuck right on the edge here. And it, w it would it just build up, and then we get stuck in the hole, so it wasn't going anywhere. So I decided to get the, the shredders put them in place, to, not only to make sure it stays in the small clumps, but to uh, keep it in the line so it doesn't go across across the edge. I don't know, don't know what it, if I need more power to the, the ram drills, or if maybe they need, need to be up one to get the, more of that lob to the line in the middle. But needless to say, that was working a little bit better. It was still bunched up in the corners, as you can see here, and dropping down, so I really should have a funnel. Uh, needless to say, this is not exactly the, the best plot to be doing something like this. You know, considering what I'm getting, I might as well just run up top here. But it has been going for a while. Uh, I've been thinking about where I'm going to go next, and I think... I believe it was this one here it was a cheap one, but it was really uneven terrain. So that one, I'm probably just going to end up excavating one day with the pickaxe just to get the, the relic. Uh, but I know the other two are not too bad. One's a sunken down one and one's an expensive one. So I think after this we're going to end up setting up somewhere else. Uh, but if you notice, there's something missing. Do you see what's not in the picture here? Yes, there's a lot of clutter in the ground, but there's one piece of junk that's not laying around, and just so happens to be my truck. I was on my way to go uh, pick up the shredders there, and I came up to the bridge, and I sort of got stuck on the edge, so I had to do the, the old unstuck trick, and landed on the ground, I was bouncing around a little bit, and did the unstuck, ended up back here, tried to go again, I got stuck on the bridge, uh, hit the unstuck, and I was up there, and I was spinning and spinning and spinning, I didn't know what to do, I tried to get unstuck, and eventually, after a few tries and a save and reload, I ended up way at the edge of the map, uh, I think it was over on the edge of that beach, way over there, and my truck's gone, which wouldn't be that big, big, of, a, big of an issue if I didn't have my wallet in the back seat, so I lost all my money, I had, oh jeez, I think I had just under 8,000 Hydra Coins. So I actually had to take all my gems and as you can see the big big nuggets are gone because I had to walk all the way over there and back and there and back and there and back to grab these three shredders to get this thing up and running again so I can make some money to get my truck again. <sighs> anyway, we're done. I just had the conveyors going for now. Just, just trying to uh, clean up the lot little bits there. So uh, let us see what we have here. Oh, I like that leg. I like that leg. And this is only maybe... Maybe two hours. Uh, I also did a test too. Uh, excuse the frame rate. Uh, I put a nugget on the scale to weigh the nugget. The nugget was half a coin. So then I put it in the, in the crucible and put the crucible on top of the scale. It doesn't actually read the amount of gold. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this, cough, this crucible, weigh it, and see how much gold was in here before I smelt it turn into a bar. But that's not going to happen. Oh, that's lag. Now, sadly, I don't actually have a, a good gem for this ring. So uh, I don't have any gems at all. We're just going to get a small little gem out of here. Oh wow, I come over here lag free. Oh, let's see. We ha what haven't we used yet? We haven't used a ruby yet, I don't think. We used a sapphire. Uh, we used a sapphire for the big one, I think. 
I can't remember. Anyway, how is this doing? That is almost done. Okay, that is still set to ring. Might as well. Oh, there you are. My precious. Sounds like a boulder dropping on there now. Hurry up. Melt. I need my money back. Thank God that truck's only worth about 550 credits. So that is good. Alright. Now, let's check the bar, shall we? 7,000, that's it. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, if I can get money back, at least I can get the, we'll get the truck going again. I might run this more. Um, I'm going to have to go without the funnel just because I don't have the space to rework this anymore. So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I have been having a lot of spray from the, the harvester. So I'm going to put another block up top here, uh, right outside the harvester because it was piling up right on top of there. And then I'm going to put a row underneath them. And then hopefully, or this should stay good. Uh, I'll probably box around the, uh, the bottom of it too. And hopefully I'll avoid these big giant boulders from piling up at the bottom. But anyways, let us make a ring and see what we can get out of this. Hopefully the, the market's good today. Give me that. And let's see. Yeah, nine grand. Makes up for what I lost. And I still have... Oh, still have a, f a few bucks over at uh, what I think the town's name is Frenal or Fronal or something no it's not even that it's the other one yeah uh, that's the I'm thinking of the, the snowy one and how's the market oh good rings are up almost 10 grand <sighs> That uh, definitely makes up for what I lost, but still, I'd be close to 20000 if I didn't lose my truck. But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. I think, uh, uh, I think what I might do is I'm going to fix this up a little more. I'll probably do a little, little bit more AFK, uh, try to get this thing running a little more efficiently. And uh, next episode, we'll probably go buy it. A claim might even go buy the big one and, and get some more toys and get a really big system going. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.